It could be weeks before the lights are back on in a Hollywood condo building. For some, it's meant they've had to move out. Others, as one person told us, it's like glamping. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yate is live in Hollywood with the story. Bo Beth. Well, Elliot, the power remains out at this Hollywood condo after a fire about three weeks ago. And we got a sneak peek inside one of those apartments right as the sun went down. It's like camping in a glamorous way. That's what glamping is. <laughs> Jay Silverberg is among the Trafalgar Tower 2 residents who have been without power since November 9th, roughly three weeks ago. There was a fire. I slept through the whole thing on the fifth floor, right above me, actually in the hallways and the wiring. And uh, so since then, FPL came and the fire brigade came and the city and they ordered all the wiring to be taken out and rewired because this building's like 50 something years old already. As a result of the rewiring, all 16 floors and the 120 units of the Hollywood building have been forced to use candles and flashlights when the sun goes down. Difficult time with no electricity, as you can well imagine. Not having a refrigerator that's functioning, so I lost all of the food in the refrigerator. And not having lights now that it gets dark quickly, you know, I have a flashlight. But there are a few emergency lights in the common area. A charging station has also been set up and one elevator is functioning, all being run on generator power. And despite the inconvenience, the residents we spoke to remain in good spirits. Worse things are happening. And I was thinking of the Champlain Towers that went down. So this is really nothing compared to that. I don't mind personally because I seriously look at it as a challenge and I think things could be way worse. For a lot of people, they don't even have a place to live, so at least I have something. It's a bit like squatting in a way, but it's not. I mean, you know, you have candles and LED lights. I can get food every day. I'm not going hungry, and I can still sleep. Now, residents tell us that a contractor has started the repairs, and the city is working with them to speed up the permitting process. Still, they do not expect to be back with their lights for another two to three weeks. Live in Hollywood, Bobeth Yates, CBS4 News Tonight.